end of the year. It's the end of the year. It's time to talk about all the video games we played, all the ones we loved, all the ones we hated. But I say we when it's really just, it's Dustin's turn. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, damn. The spotlight. It hurts. Right, now, uh. It is all about you, Dustin. This is your podcast. This is your time to say, hey, Brandon, shut the fuck up. It's my turn to talk. <laughs> <laughs> Your chattery ass. All right. <laughs> All Worst right. three. We're starting it off with right. the wait, games wait, wait. Before, that I did. Before oh. we get into the uh, – let me tell the people the categories before we get into the whole – the categories are for people who may have missed the other ones. Maybe you're the first one. I don't know. I don't know what order I'm putting these up in. But anyways, uh, for people who missed, uh, who missed the whatever ones, the categories are the best of, the worst of, um – a, the biggest disappointment of the year, the biggest surprise, and an award to whatever the hell Dustin wants to give an award to. So, as you were with the worst of, how many do you have? I have three, three. in right. my worst of. Three in the best. All right. I didn't do five and five like you did. I didn't play quite as many games. And honestly, the worst three was a little hard to do because most of the games I played this year were actually decent. Mm-hmm. Like... <laughs> Mainly because I either play games you recommended to me and we have similar tastes, mm-hmm. or I just didn't open or try anything that I thought would might be shit, and so I was like, fuck it, oh, okay. Yeah. But anyways, number three, what is it? Number three, Tales of Zilla. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> really, that little play that we did of it just made you piss yeah, off? Yeah, and actually I looked up um, quite a bit of gameplay for it, because I th- when we first... Th- played it i thought it might not be terrible um looking back on what we did play of it i believe it was terrible <laughs> and is terrible um because they just copy pasted like the rpg elements from other games and the honestly it didn't even look that good the, s- the skills were just generic that i mean the the skill tree just felt, felt meaningless. And the the way it played, like, didn't like it. Not at <laughs> I all. I don't blame you for that one. Oh, God. I did... It just looked like a piece of, like, badly toasted toast. <laughs> badly toasted know. toast. It was burnt toast <laughs> without any butter. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right. All right. What's your? I, I almost want to start doing that for all of them now. Just like the, uh, every single award we give to, it has, has to have some weird metaphor with it. <laughs> yep. All right. What's number two? Number two worst. Dead Island oh, Riptide. Wow. All right. All right. I'm kind of surprised at this because didn't you like the original Dead Island? Um, I kind of liked it. It was the I I thought it was fun because of the co-op. Um. But that's it. And honestly, Dead Island Riptide, all I did was play the co-op. Oh, really? And, I don't know, one one night I sat down and played it for a good, like, eight or nine hours. Got fairly far. In the next couple of days, I ended up beating it. But it just left me with such a stale feeling. Like, all I did was just fetch quests nonstop. And, I mean, granted... The zombies were kind of cool. It was, it felt okay to kill the zombies for what it was, but it, for, to me, it just felt like rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, kill some more zombies in the same generic jungly looking area over and over. Yeah, I, I, you know, actually, I just opened up my, the box, uh, the, the disc that I bought a few months ago of Dead Island Riptide. I put it in. I have to say, I did get bored with it as well, so I can't even, you know, I was a little bit surprised because I am, I didn't like the first one that much, and Brandon, why'd you buy the second one? Because, well, I, just cause. <laughs> and I was playing it, I do agree with all your complaints with that, I'm just like, it is kind of just like that rinse, lather, repeat, you know, it works on, it works off. But, um, yes, another metaphor. Alright. <laughs> Alright. And the worst Ooh, game I'm of excited. the year. For me, is in fact Aliens oh, Colonial oh. Marines. Oh, uh, so far two in a row, uh, Dustin. Two in a row. Nick, that was on Nick's worst of two. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay. So this game, the moment you start to aim down sight and shoot, if you are not like blind or deaf, you will <laughs> notice this awful stuttering that happens. Like, it's just it's not quite as bad as like real lag in multiplayer games 
but it's just not smooth at all. You aim down sight and turn. You, there's just it just doesn't have enough frames. The game is just poorly put together, and the 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 story for what it was there wasn't terrible. Like I'm not a I'm not a full on Aliens or Predator fan, but I know enough about the series to kind of know what was going on, and it just it didn't feel like it flowed at all with the the universe, the story of the. The series at all. I mean, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't play it with the shit, honestly. Like, uh, the, the, I mean, the cop, it made it funner. I, I played it co-op with my roommate. It, it made it a little better, but uh, just getting jumped on by the aliens over and over. It, it, I just, it wasn't fun for me, honestly. Like, I can't, I can't come up with much, much constructive criticism other than it just played like Actually, shit. Actually, Justin, you had the one that I probably don't think I'm going to hear from any of the hosts. Even myself, I didn't even think about that. Uh, was the frame rate. No, I never thought about the fucking frame rate being shitty, but you were right. So, I have to say, my hat's off to you, sir. You were mentioning, like, fucking deep shit about that game of, like, something... Because, like, I think, if I remember Nick's correctly, he was just kind of like, ah, oh, just bad. And then, you know, you're like, no, the fame, frame rate fucking sucked. It was like, what, was it two frames per second? What kind of shit was that? <laughs> I mean, Yeah, I mean, I'm, it, it was probably, like, over 30 in points, but especially during the action, the heavy action on screen parts... It it just dropped for me at least. Mm. Like, granted, it was on 360. I don't know what other consoles it oh, was on or anything, but or, or the you know the big three PC 360. And uh, yeah, I, maybe on PC I would have had a much better time playing it. But on 360, that's my only experience with it, and it yeah. was shit. <laughs> well, all right, shit. All right. Do you want? Uh, where are we going now? Are we staying on the little? Are we staying on the road of shit? We're gonna go up to some brighter skies. We'll uh we'll. Dip into the shitty uh, again, and well, what I don't know. It's so not so much shitty, but the most uh, disappointing game: um, Walking Dead Survival Instinct. <laughs> wow! So <laughs> this, the reason I say this game is disappointing is because I see it had potential. If I could sum this game up in one sentence, it would be shitty, dumbed down Last of Us. <laughs> I can agree with that. And high, and when I say dumbed down, I mean highly dumbed down. Like, it took, it took a sliver of what is The Last of Us and just shat all over it. <laughs> <laughs> so even though technically, folks, it, it did look- come out before The Last of Us, yeah, it, it was. Okay, so the story is, you're in a zombie world that is somewhat like The Walking Dead world, and you have to survive. <laughs> Just try to survive. <laughs> Maybe there's this military base over there and you can get to it and survive better. <laughs> but that's it. <laughs> um, so it seemed fun at first. And then I realized the entire combat system was just a copy-paste over of what you've just done. Take up a wrench and slash a zombie with it two times and he'll die. Or take a pipe and slash him hard one time and he'll die. <laughs> okay, folks, we can um, figure out what Dustin hates. Repetitiveness. <laughs> he really hates it when games don't do something different. When it's just that whole thing of, hit zombie, walk forward, hit okay, zombie. Okay, this is... And I'm going to add on top of that more because <laughs> when you, like, don't have fuel for your car or you don't have enough food or you there you have these meters and you need to have at least a certain amount of food and shit, all you do is, like, go off on a s- little side quest and find some supplies or find gas. When you need to get gas again and you're in the same area and you need to get more gas, you go to the same exact uh. damn side quest it's just this little neighborhood or this little town and it's the same town it's it's not even slightly different it will at some point in this game force you to do the same exact side quest just to get more supplies and that just upset me i mean like and oh man with this game it was kind of getting interesting near the end and then it ended (laughs) i was like Wait, that's it? The game is over? And it just left me with the, just the most boner kill feeling ever. I have to say that game did not do Daryl Dixon any, you know, any 
goodness, I guess. <laughs> All right, so All right, happier notes, happier yeah, notes, happier notes. I think from this point on, we're riding happier, happier. Um, the biggest surprise this year, Metro Last wow. Light. Okay, nice, nice. So this man, this game actually had a great story, mm-hmm. in my opinion. I mean. It, at first, I was like, who's this little, like, gremlin-looking dude? <laughs> what the hell is going on? This <laughs> this seems like a fairly generic survival, apocalyptic kind of story. Um, but it, it got intense. It really got cool. And I praise this game for the gameplay and the weapons. The weapon choice was somewhat small, but the add-ons and attachments, the fact you can... At the very beginning of the game, you can customize slightly your weapon. I thought that was cool. You you don't just pick up a random gun and it's it is what it is. You get a few choices at the beginning between what gun you want and you can customize it. And I love the way the this game like had a life. Like it the characters and everything, it felt felt alive, really put a lot of detail into the interactions between the NPCs and everything. So, and it looked really good and it, it really immersed me. So I liked it a lot and it's, it seemed like it wouldn't be bad at all. And it surprised me that it was great. So I completely agree with that whole entire, everything you said about that game. uh, I fucking love that. Um, all right. All right. All right. So that means we only have two awards left. Go for it. Top three. Oh, We're going to top three. Number three. Crisis three. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yep. Um, I can't exactly remember right, my rating I gave it. I probably gave it a B. I might want to revise that to like an A minus because I went back and played it again. And just for, just for a fun on rails shooter, Totally for me, shits on Call of Duties. Granted, I barely played the Call of Duties. I played COD 4, I played Modern Warfare 2, and then the other ones I just said, the story seems like it's gonna be exactly the same. But from what you said, Black Ops did get a little Black better, Ops 2 right? Was amazing. Um, Black Ops 2, yeah. Ghost is just pass on this. If you, if say if you picked up Ghost, I'd tell you that little thing you do of skipping the story, go for it. Skip the story, play the online, cause the story sucks. But anyways, Crisis 3. Quite amazing that you chose that. Um. <laughs> yeah, um, I know we said this in our review, but I really like the stealth aspect where it's not required. You can you can stealth or you can shield. I really like that. How all, at almost any point you can either just go balls out or you can stealth. And the second time I played it, I tried to kind of remember what parts I stealth and not, and I did the opposite. And it's totally a different gameplay experience either way you do it, and they're both really cool. So damn, you're making me want to go back and play this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the wow, the weapons were actually pretty cool. Some of them, yeah, they just didn't work in points, which is bound to happen. Um, the map layout. It seemed to work really well for me. Where, like, I, the second time I played through, I searched much more for ammo, searched much more for the, the bow is a, a big point in that game and finding the bow ammo and thinking a little more about where I should use what weapon. And there's some really cool things you can end up doing. So. Nice, nice. Number, <laughs> number two, number two. Bioshock oh, Infinite. Oh wow, that makes me really think what the hell your number one is. Bioshock at number two. Uh, so, <laughs> um, Bioshock, at least the, uh, s- the main character, I really liked the story they gave him. And what I liked even more is the, the girl character, the, what they did with her and how they had her interact with everything in the game as you played through. I thought it was really cool. Like she would th- toss you ammo and shit. She would, she, they just made her badass <laughs> and, <laughs> The fact how they tied her into the story, that's definitely a game I don't want to ruin. And you, you should, anyone should play that game just, just for the story alone. If, I guess if you don't like the gameplay, that's a big hit on the game as it is. But 
I mean, the gunplay worked really well for me, and the skills that you got, it, they were just cool overall. I mean, this isn't the kind of game I can play like Skyrim over and over, but still, for for what it is, I enjoyed the shit out of it. Like, it was just so easy to play for me. Like, it it flowed nice. Okay. All right, all right number two, nice. Number one. Number one, right. here it is. The Last of Us. Last of Us. Woo! I kind of had a feeling yep. that was going to be your number one when Bioshock made number two. <laughs> yeah, so... Oh, man. This is some of the best storytelling in any video game, let alone the entire universe of... What is it? Survival? Horror? Not, not horror. Survival, I guess. Even in movies, like... So there's some pretty good, like, I don't know, for some reason, the Chronicles of Riddick comes to mind. Like, I, I mean, it's a decent movie. It's nothing spectacular. But, I mean, like, the story in The Last of Us shits on even a decent movie like that, which is all about the story and characters. Well, I would so, say shit on World War Z. Yeah, yeah. That's, as, that's as pretty good. story, you know, since they're both zombies and, they, you know, World War Z wasn't a bad movie at all. It still has a better story, yeah. you know. All right, but continue. <laughs> I mean, the I'm a bit, I'm a pretty big fan of stealth, and the way they made the stealth with not much of a challenge, but to do like perfect stealthy, they made you want to thrive for not getting seen and killing everything without losing a single health bar. That was difficult for me, and that made it fun to to play around with the whole stealth aspect. And the multiplayer didn't stand out too much, but it was pretty fun for a few a few goes and just that story. I in fact I could probably replay that over and over, which I have once, but it just it's a sta- all around stand up game. All right. Dustin's game of the year. He gets the bloody trophy Last of Us. Too bad we're not big enough to actually, you know, get that on the box of The Last of Us Game of the Year edition or whatever. <laughs> get, like, bloody screen says, you know, bam! You know, one of the best games of the year. Too bad, too bad. Ah, uh, maybe one day, Dustin. Maybe one day. <laughs> actually, I don't even have my hopes even half that high. But anyways, uh, what is your award to whatever? My specialty award is, we're going to say... Innovative, most innovative slash mind fucks. Okay. <laughs> Gives you a mind fuck. Um, this game I reviewed earlier, quite early in the year, Antichamber. Antichamber. Oh, I've actually seen gameplay of that. That game is fucking weird. All right, continue. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So this game is really odd. Okay, it has this really cool art style of, uh. It's a 3D first person puzzle game, which, think of that idea. I don't think anyone's heard of that many times at all. Maybe you're a fan of this genre, <laughs> but that puts you in a very minority, I believe. Um, so, like, everything is a line drawing, and there's these, like, vibrant colors. And, strange thing about this game, there's no dialogue, no talking in the entire game, which might turn you off, but, it's they took a they took a really big stab at something new when they did that and all around the game there are these signs on walls that just say funny ass shit and like these they're they're clues for the puzzles which the entire game you're just basically in this giant complex of a building where you're just trying to get these purple cubes to line up on this wall but all around the whole place there are these little puzzles you have to do to like activate these purple cues and the whole entire thing is just to get out. And I mean, the game can be speed run in like six minutes. So it's, it's not like an extremely intense long game or anything, but I mean, it took me like 10 hours to beat it just cause I didn't look up any guides or anything. I, there's this one puzzle I spent like two hours trying to figure out just going in and out of the same place. Like, this would piss some people off, but if you're patient at all and you, I mean, man, this, it was, 
it was just different and I really liked the art style and in the ending there is this cool little scene and it just leaves you with a cool feeling at the end. I don't know, I liked right. it. That's the uh, biggest mind fuck of the year. Uh, that is, that is Dustin's top list. His best of, worst of, his war to whatever. You know, folks, if you agree with Dustin, or if you disagree with him, or if you just liked, uh, liked whatever he said about said games, any of those, any of those, yeah, hell, make up a reason. I don't fucking care. But let us know about it. That's what we want to know. We want to hear from you. What, you know. Yeah, and I, I know you might have liked some of the games I didn't like, but I know, difference in yeah, taste difference. that happens, you know. Hey. Tell me why you like the games I didn't uh, and, like. And, and also people, people, just uh, I'm trying to cover your ass now, Dustin. He didn't get to play as many games as, say, I did. So if he forgot one of the late of the games that you liked, say, if you're like, why didn't you forget Assassin's Creed 4? He never got around to playing it. So, you know, cut him some slack. <laughs> cut yeah. him some slack, people. You know, these are the ones he has played. And, you know, if he forgot one of yours, you know, don't give him shit for it. Let us know, though. You know, not say, well, you forgot it, but, you know, say, like, I really dug this. Either way, we want to know. Yeah, I'll probably try it. And then along the times of the Bloody Screen podcast, maybe I'll mention it again. And Exactly. You know, Dustin's yeah. willing to play literally whatever. So, you know, let him know. Let him know. And by do, how do you do this, you're asking me. You're like, Brandon, how do I let him know? Well, you either put it in the comment section on YouTube. It may take us a long time to find it, so that's the... No, I check the YouTube comments oh, the most. You? Okay. If you comment on any... Well, you're better, better off commenting on the newest video we yeah, put out. Way better. But, but uh, um, yeah. yeah, I always check the comments. Okay. And... For Dustin, I would say check the YouTube comments. And for any other, other uh, you know, say if you don't want to uh, log into YouTube because you're weird, you can go to our website, bloodscreenpod.com, and... You know, just go to our forums, let us know what you think there. Or, if you hate both those reasons, because whatever, you can email us at bloodscreenpodcast at gmail.com. That's where, uh, for some reason, our fa- some of our fans really do like to go to. We have had, we've had a couple people comment on YouTube. No one likes the forums. I'm kind of just pissed off about that. But, <laughs> anyways, you could go there. I'll let them know if you say if you have something that you want to say to them. And, you know, whatever. Either way, that's all. Those are the ways. Otherwise, thank you, Dustin. I agree with your list. Surprised with some of your answers. And that's about it. So, everybody, tune in for our other best of list from our other three hosts we have, me included. Uh, so, that is it, everybody. Good night.